Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Myla and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is her ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction, and the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar, and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Your girls have been fitted with their very own training collars that they will come home with, and you'll be taught how to use them properly during your follow-up training session. Now, Myla is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and having good leash control when you're on walks and incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit. And the command is Myla heel. Now at this point, Myla has a job to do and that is to match pace with Rich not to drag him, not to forge ahead or lag behind, but always staying right with him. If he turns, she should turn. If he has to coax her up or talk to her to keep her focused, he will. And each time that he stops his feet, she sits without being told to wait for her next command. And this comes in really handy when you're walking in your neighborhood because if you stop to talk to someone or stop to cross traffic, she's sitting very nicely at your left and waiting for her next command. She's doing a great job of demonstrating that command. Now she didn't sit right away, so Rich gave her a little correction, and she's very, very eager to please. The next command that Rich is going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. You're going to lengthen out your sit-stays from about 30 seconds to 3 minutes, adding about 5 or 10 seconds a day. When Rich returns back to her, she should remain seated until he returns all the way back to where they started, back to heel position, and then he praises her for a good job. And they take off healing again. She's such a sweet dog, she really is, and she loves to be loved, and she loves to be petted and paid attention to. So she enjoys the working process because she gets that one-on-one -on -one attention that she craves and at the same time she's learning things so it's really, really good for the dogs. Rich will leave her in another sit-stay. And this time instead of returning back to her, he's going to demonstrate the come on command. It's Myla come and she should come and sit right in front of you facing your knees and that eliminates her any jumping and she's really done well with that. I was out in the yard with them today and she approaches to get petted but she doesn't jump so it's really good. It's really worked. They're really both very sweet girls. They get a little bit rambunctious and we've also corrected that when they're playing together. Myla is more submissive Rich is going to leave her in another sit-stay, and he'll demonstrate that come on command again. So you leave her, you turn to face her, you back away, and then you give her the command. And Rich keeps his voice very low so that she can hear him. We can't always hear him. But if you get too um, hyper or too excited with them or over praise, then she gets too excited and she doesn't concentrate. So. We try to use the tone that works best for each individual dog. Now the next command that we're gonna be demonstrating for you is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, at heel, you take your left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. Myla loves this command and she tries to do it when you don't tell her to do it. So we're working on that. 
And during the long down stay, you don't want her to drop her nose and start to sniff things on the ground because it usually it was what they do right before they stand up. So this command you're going to practice from about one to two minutes, working all the way up to five. And you can practice indoors as well as outdoors. So weather should not deter you from practicing with your dogs. They never ever forget their obedience training. That's that's the reason why we can guarantee our work because we know that the dogs never forget their training. They can get a little rusty if they're not worked regularly, but they still don't forget. Now Rich is gonna demonstrate that down from a heel position again. Seated at your left, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. And this time, instead of returning back to her, he can call her out of that. He praises her on the way in because she was being a little sluggish. And then he returns her back to heel and back sitting. Very good. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. Rich is going to leave her in a sit-stay. These guys are a little emotional because they are in season, so a little bit more loving than usual. <laughs> and that is your down from a distance, which was perfectly done. You use your right hand to give that command. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Myla's formal obedience commands on leash. She's done a great job here at school. We've really enjoyed both of them. They're very nice girls, and we'll be back to show you what Mia knows.